Hello, book lovers. I'm Peg, and welcome to my channel. I just watched the very best video that I've seen for a while, and I wanted to share it with you all. I'll, have a, I'll put a link at the bottom. It's by Britta Bowler, and it's called Crossover, How to Get into Nonfiction. And in it, she gives the very timely advice to the, those of us who are having a little trouble facing nonfiction November. We really prefer fiction. Anyway, she gives some very interesting, a very interesting way to kind of, as she says, cross over from a novel into fiction. And she gives a fantastic example of a, of a novel that she's read and just loves and how it kind of refers in her mind to another book that's actually nonfiction, but closely relate, related to another book, and how one book just follows another, and and uh, it's it's really interesting how that can happen to a reader when your mind's open to the next suggestion, and, and, and I've always thought that sometimes your mind just wants to read about something, and sometimes the book that you need to read about just appears. And um, that's kind of happened to me. I want to kind of share that with you. Uh, actually, um, I'll preface it with several things I've kind of been thinking about that led up to this being the perfect book for me to read. As uh, you, if you've watched my uh, past videos, you know I'm uh, undertaking a reading project where I read the novels um, uh, uh, that Steve Donahue has mentioned as being some of his favorites in his recent video, and I'll link that also to the bottom if you want to ring, uh, read along with me, and they've all been great so far. And uh, the next one that was on my list was called A uh, Winter's Tale by Mark Halperin. So I had heard of it, and so I went to the library uh, to get it. And uh, before I went to the older shelves, I stopped by the new shelves, as I always do. And lo and behold, another book by Mark Halperin, a brand new just released book called Paris in the Present Tense was sitting there. So being the brand new release lover that I am, I grabbed it and decided I just substitute this one for the other one, and I'll go read the other one later. Now, the, this goes into another thought that I had in selecting this book. I've actually uh, read another book by Mark Halperin called uh, The uh, Memoir from an Ant Proof Case. Very distinctive title, so I do remember the title. But you know, I don't remember much about the book at all. I remember it had a great plot and and the writing was quite lyrical and smooth and I liked that and I just liked the author. But that's all, really all I remember. That's enough though, right? Um, anyway, but just the other day I had discussed on, the, on my video um, how I have trouble remembering books I've read in the past. Of course, I have a long past to remember them from. You gotta remember. Anyway, and I, w I was beginning to think maybe it was kind of an old age thing, and some of the sweet, nice uh, booktubers made comments that you too have trouble remembering some of the books that you've read, and some of you were even young, so that made me feel better. But uh, part of it, I decided, even if it is part of old age, that it goes along with uh, many good things that I feel are happening in my life now that I'm growing older. Um, actually, being retired is the happiest time of my life. For the first time ever, I'm getting all the reading time I want, which I spend most of my time doing, except when I'm doing my other favorite thing, which is going on really long walks. And the two really fit together. Actually, when I go on the walks, I mostly think about the books I've been reading and analyze them and settle them in my brain, etc. And then when I get back from the walk, I'm more focused and calmed down and my, my brain is ready to read more. So that's been a real joy to me. And actually, I've often wondered, are other people that are older thinking that maybe this is a happy time for them, that there are some good things about being older. You certainly never hear anybody talking about it. So anyway, let me tell you how this book fit in with all the things 
that I had been thinking about in a serendipitous way. Uh, this book is actually about a 78-year-old man, French man, uh, and it goes into detail. He's a, he's a composer, music composer, and it goes into some detail of things that happen in his life. It has an excellent plot. I, I won't get into the plot. It's quite involved, but it talks a lot about some of the feelings he has on being older and the way he looks differently as life when being older. And uh, keep in mind, he is an artist, but I wanted to share with you one of the very best quotations I've ever found in a book, or maybe it just hits me that way now, that deals with some of the good parts of being older that I totally agree with. Now, remember, he is an artist, and maybe this applies only to people who, but it applies to people who read a lot too, I think. Okay, he says, you may not understand this until you're much older, but to people of my age, it's a given that things become at once more beautiful, more intense, and more inexplicable. You learn to see with your emotions and feel with your reason. If at the end, if at its end, the life you're living takes on the attributes of art, it doesn't matter if you've forgotten where you put your reading glasses. So I bet even some young people have, have trouble with reading their, losing their reading glasses. I have to keep mine on my head so I don't lose them. But I thought that was just a tr great explanation of, of the benefits of being older. And, too and it's okay if I forget some of the books I've read. So anyway, um, I appreciated that, and, and I want to say I'm going on with Britta's plan. Now, this book, The Paris Part of It, has given me some ideas of maybe a, a nonfiction I'm going to read that that this has given me the, the desire to read. So I'll be talking about it later. Uh, I also will get to the other book by this author that Steve recommended. So anyway, I uh, hope you, you guys uh, take a look at that video by Britta. It's just great. Okay. Bye.